what a ride. Okay, this month has been focusing on AI and it's been quite the trip. And today, well, that's no exception because we're gonna combine two forms of AI to create some amazing magic. So, let's get this party started. Now, here's the deal. We're dealing with AI voice synthesis. In other words, how can I replicate my voice or the voice of other people realistically? And if that's possible, what can I do with this magic voice? Uh, well, okay, I'm not saying my voice is magic, but okay, well, enough of that. Let, let's get to it. Now, if you will indulge me for a moment while I pick up my first book, Second Chances, and I'm going to read the first paragraph from the book for the express purpose of I need to get my voice recorded so that I have a baseline for AI to work with. Okay, stop. To be really clear, I'm recording my voice so that I can upload the audio track to an AI voice synthesizer. And the one I've chosen, I've looked at the number, is 11labs.io. But I don't want to get ahead of myself here, so hold on. Here's me reading. Let's see, i got to get there first. Chapter 1. Here's the first paragraph. On the day I took 23 steps into prison, I did not recognize all the choices that resulted in this consequence. By the time I took 23 steps out of prison, my understanding had deepened. Writing this book led me to 23 insights about turning negative choices into positive results. I offer my story to remind you and me that our prisons are often self-inflicted. Okay, now that I've read that track, I'm gonna change locations here in a minute and upload the audio track to that first chapter to the 11labs.io site so it has data to replicate my voice. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I've uploaded the audio and it's created my voice, or at least so it says. And now I can upload any text to the AI program and it should use my voice to speak the text to life. Okay, now I personally want to make this fun. So I'm going to upload the first paragraph of my book into ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite that first paragraph in the style of the author who wrote the book, The Kite Runner which is a book known to emotionally connect with an audience. So, let's go down this rabbit hole and see what ChatGPT does. Wow. Uh, one paragraph turned into three, and I have to admit, it did better writing than what I wrote. I mean, dang, I have been bested by an algorithm. AI has kicked my butt, which is, by the way, no great surprise, because I was never going to win a Pulitzer Prize for my writing. Okay, so let's upload uh, this script to 11labs.io and see what happens. Okay, now, listen to the outcome. It's pretty good, although listening to yourself is a bit weird, so let's listen. On the day I entered the prison gates, I was oblivious to the intricate web of choices that had led me there. Yet as I walked the 23 steps into the bleak, lifeless abyss, I knew that something within me had shifted. Okay, I'm not quite feeling the flow, so I want to play with the 11labs.io settings and see if maybe I can make it better, just to have a more conversational feel. So let's listen. On the day I entered the prison gates, I was oblivious to the intricate web of choices that had led me there. Yet, as I walked the 23 steps into the bleak, lifeless abyss, I knew that something within me had shifted. With each step I took, I could feel the weight of my actions bearing down upon me, a crushing burden that threatened to consume me entirely. 
It was not until I took those same 23 steps out of prison that I began to truly comprehend the depth of my mistakes. In the harsh light of freedom, I was forced to confront the consequences of my actions, to reckon with the pain and suffering that I had caused. But even in the darkest of moments, I found hope. Through the act of writing, oh. I discovered... Well, I, okay, I kind of like that feeling. What do you think? By the way, I brought one of my six full-time editors into my office, had him sit so he couldn't see what I was doing, and played version two, the one you just heard. And I asked him who was speaking. And he looked at me with a puzzled look. What, what am I missing? That's you. Is this a trick? <laughs> okay, so apparently it passed the test. So here's the question, what have we learned today? Well, bringing your voice to life through AI is not only possible, it's here. Now, the question is, though, what can we do with that? So here are some thoughts. Now, number one, I want to give credit to Stephen Shapiro for this idea. But take your book or article, whatever you've written, and let AI read it back to you. Stephen was telling me this, and it was like by listening to it read your content to you, you quickly find odd sentences or turns of phrase that maybe not make sense or mistakes that you're almost always going to miss reading it. Okay, second idea. Okay, if you get your voice replicated to your satisfaction, like I did with the second version, then feed your book into the AI and let it record your audio book. Huh, okay, that's brilliant. Wait a minute, I just cut my company out of business since we record audiobooks. Okay, forget that idea. Well, maybe use it. And number three, what if you write or have AI write some short scripts that AI records in your voice so you can add some video and make YouTube shorts? Or better still, let AI add the video and create the video content for you. Look, the ideas here are only limited by your imagination. So here's my request to you. Share some ideas about how you might use your AI-generated voice in the comments below. And let's get a great discussion started with brainstorming ideas. I mean, I think this has potential. And by the way, a not-so-subtle reminder, subscribe below, because we'll talk with you next week about where we continue to explore artificial intelligence.